Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Clay Knives, and we're back again. <sighs> and we're back again with more Let's Play Vagrant Story. If you recall last time, we had found our way inside this puzzle room inside the Great Cathedral. As you can see, we have pretty much explored almost everywhere we can go. The basement has been completely cleared. In fact, As you can see, the uh, Great Cathedral has been almost completely cleared. There's only a couple places yet left that we have not gone. This up to level 3, and these two mysterious doors right here, and no screams for mercy. We're close. We're very close. But first, this puzzle. And oh my god. <laughs> but first, this puzzle. And this puzzle is a doozy, there's no way around. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, we're going to attempt to get through this puzzle. Apparently, I believe we can get back onto this platform from this stone as long as we don't move it. Oh, okay. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> oh yes, you just gotta get one little block here to open it. But how? How do we do it? need to build a bridge. will not be easy.
fuck something up here. to think about this. We have to think about this. Um... I think I fucked it up again, but I, I think I know what, what has to be done. Alright, I know what I have to do. Now we have to think about this carefully. We have to get these two blocks in the right position.
Oh yeah, give it to me. Oh, we got two elixir queens. I'm getting lazy. We do have a lot of HP. Let's check that helmet out. Oh yeah. Huzzah! That room is clear. Next we will go upstairs. You don't want to go to the third floor yet. That's where this takes us. We definitely want to check out what's in these two rooms over here. We're coming, Guildenstern. Oh yes, we're coming. Yeah. I'm coming for you, fucker. I'm coming for you, Guildenstern. been in these two rooms yet. I think we can get back over from that room. I think we can get back over from either one. Alright, this is the Lich Lord. Um, we do have to kill this guy. Uh, I hope I can get the magic ward off fast enough. Oh my god, he's getting closer. Getting closer. We gotta kill this guy immediately. fucking around with this guy. <laughs> Magic ward again. Don't don't even take any chances.
die. Where is he? Yeah, see, this this stuff will start happening. Come here. Hit him, Ashley. Hit him. We gotta kill this guy. Can't let that guy get anything nasty off. And what that does is kills that cloud stone over there. Oh yeah. No treasure in here, just that. I'm coming for you, Guildenstern. Oh, I'm coming for you. Ah, uh, let's wait. There, there could be a boss in here. And after this, we've, I believe we can go to the third floor. Can't get in there. It's clear. Can't get in there. That's clear. And the basement's clear, so yeah. Whatever's in here, we're, we're gonna go on the third floor. I love this dungeon. No enemies, just a ruin and puzzles. And some bosses. There's, um... I think there's three left in here. And yeah, there, there might be one in this room, so... We're not going to push it. Kill them all. Oh, Ashley, you son of a bitch. That's why. <laughs> we gotta get him, we gotta get him. I missed the chain, I missed the chain! Yeah. 
Nice. I think that was just a normal lich. And we got the Laurel Sigil. So now, there's two places we can go. We can go to this Laurel Sigil room, or we can go up to the third floor. Via this cloud stone up here. Um. We're gonna go to the Laurel Sigil room first, because I need to use that chest and, and dump some of my stuff. I've got too much shit. So, that's where we're gonna head. And then actually throw out a, a proper save. Ashley! Is there no other way out of this room? No, that's it. We have to go out that way. How the hell do you make this jump? Kick it. How do we go where we want to go? We want to go down to the first floor. We want to go down to the basement though. We got to go down to the basement to get back up to that Laurel signal room. So, I believe we want to go this way. No monsters, just ruins. And we can't open that door and we will, but first, we're gonna dump some stuff off and save our game. Come on now, I'm gonna I'm gonna be leaving this place anyway. Love all the fluted shit. So I 
And yeah, when we get to the final save point at the top of this place, I'm gonna teleport out, use all the grimoires I have stored up, and visit a shop and upgrade, and heal all my weapons before the final battle. I don't want to teleport out now because I'm not sure if the dungeon resets, but once you get to the top floor, there's a save point there that you can just teleport in and out of that won't have any effect on what you've done in the dungeon. Down, middle, How are we doing? We're doing good. Storms. Oh no 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 My bad. I'm sorry. I did not realize. This Oval Shield has a Morlock gem on it. We want this. Oh god, we want that Morlock gem. Because the thing is, anything you store in this chest can be accessed on a new game plus. You can just go in here and be like, oh, here's all my shit. Just get, you know, the super powerful items. Store it. And yes, let's actually get a save in, inside of this place. Save it right here. I don't like relying on just the quick saves, though they're probably less faulty than, than the PlayStation BIOS. But what are you gonna do? All right, let's see what's in here.
boss? I'm guessing a boss. Yeah. A big dragon! Holy shit! This is actually a, a, a light affinity enemy, believe it or not. It's not human. We should be able to, to rip its head off. Hopefully. If this doesn't work, we might have to throw a Morlock gem into a... Nah, this'll do. Oh yeah, let's let's get some lead bones on it. I don't feel like whacking at this thing all night. Come to me. Gildenstone. stone. God, the cutscenes at the end of this game, particularly for eleven cyan, he's in for a treat. The ending of this game is amazing. This whole game is amazing. Come here. He's got a lot of HP, I'll give him that. Taking a hellacious beating here. It's not gonna work, buddy. Out of here, the Acacia Sigil. Ah, yes, and now we can again open that door up here. Basically, you you do want to do this place floor by floor. You really don't want to skip floors. Though we may, because we're gonna have to go the long way to get back up here. I may take a peek.
They can't stop us. We're Ashley Riot. We can't be stopped. I'm coming for you, Guildenstone. It's time, brother. Go back down here. A lot of bad. I think this is why they didn't put any enemies in here because, unlike other dungeons, which are straight up mazes, this is almost a Resident Evil style like pull the lever, get the right key dungeon, and it requires so much backtracking. If it had respawning enemies in here, this dungeon it, it would be a nightmare. It's it's the only break this game gives you. No, we don't want to go this way. We want to go this way. You guys want to take a peek? Sure, we can take a peek. What's up here? Oh, this is level 2. 